Glenn is saying I'm actually going to learn the drums and I'm going to be his understudy, so it's a possibility we're going to end up on stage. One day's training, you'd probably be better than him, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nish Bajor will scale Bronan Kick Mark August Danny O'Have Hish Mahori Je a crohi on scale Shin Kangal Idran Alads of Ruar Aigid in North Trave Shit Jacker. I think when his dad died, he probably realised that suddenly he'd seen what I'd gone through because I'd lost my father as well. So yeah. um, earlier on, so I think I'd had a, a little bit of experience with death. Not that you ever do have enough experience with death, but I had yeah. a little bit of experience with death. And, I think then he realised that although we were like brothers anyway, that suddenly we had a, a kinship and a, a common area that we both understood, you know, what was going on, which is amazing because I don't think I would have personally carried on and I don't think he would have personally carried on. I think the reason why we probably personally carried on was because we had that one <laughs> in our lives, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and with it having... Danny's just in the room, hi Danny. Good, good. Good. Yeah. We'll just carry on for a minute. Yeah. No, no, no. Just, just so you know. Yeah. Just, just. Um, and and in that regard, like, uh, there was kind of like life-changing experience outside of the band anyway, affecting the first record so much. Did is that kind of reverberated through? Is it still because it's a huge part of where you came from yeah. for the second record? Like, yeah, because you know, you think about it, a record is only a snapshot of of a moment, you know. And if you think about a ten-song record, is only is really a small snapshot of. Of, was of, of our lives at that moment from when we lived in kind of LA coming home to Dublin the, the change in us coming back to Dublin then because we've been in America for 10 years you know yeah. um, we were really discovering a lot about Dublin again Dublin had changed an awful lot since we'd left as well because Dublin was a was a hard old place when we left and, and we come back don't get me wrong we came back quite often but it was just exponential changes all the time in Dublin and um, Dublin 8 alone was a derelict area when I was leaving and suddenly it's a nice cosmopolitan area yeah. you know? it's crazy um, but uh, yeah, I think uh, I think the next album there is no off switch for pain. You know, you don't. Yeah. You know, you don't ever actually get over losing a parent. I think you just learn to live with it, and that's yeah. all you do. We learn to deal with it. So, um, and then all the other crazy things that happen. Is I think a lot of people think our songs are just about us all the time. They're also about our friends and people around us. So, while some people may hear the stories quite bleak, I think they misunderstand the songs in that sense because. A song like The End where I begin, like I said a second ago, is about losing everything. But actually if you listen to the song and the song's form, it's about shedding your skin and, and the end where I begin means you know, every ending is a beginning of something new. Yeah. So there's actually an element of hope in all our songs and we always try to give people those coping skills for that reason, you know? Because yeah, yeah. I think we learned to stand up again and think that's what we were hoping to give people that same hope in Ireland, you know. We always have great banter, but this is, I'm, I'm glad, thank you for being so honest and no I really appreciate it. No, no problem, man, it was, it was good to, um, I think it's easier when you get to know someone a little bit as well, because aside from the cameras, I think we've had a few drinks together and we got to know each other over the past. Yeah. Of our career anyway, and the, the script, so it was nice. Yeah, much obliged. Thanks, dude. Thanks for being so honest. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And I have to say, it's absolutely amazing that Pop Cafe here, TG Cafe here in New York. Fair play to you guys for coming all the way over here to hang around with us stinky rockers and, and listen to us talking about ourselves. I really apologise, so seriously. Thanks a million. Greg Mailman. Daniel Donahue. Great to see you, bro. You're a humble gentleman, which, which always surprises me because. Not after you leave, it might have Your meteoric rise to fame has been outrageous. My meteoric head. <laughs> meteoric face. My mates are all there, yeah. trying to calm me down because my head is all moving. I'm going to be a good Danny. Thank you, bro. 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 Thank you, bro.
Adrian Shock and Jug and Peace out slow. Let's have a cheer for the script. Come on, why not? Oh! Slow.